Welcome everyone. Immune to BS here. Hey, I um, had a thought and I was thinking about the video I did called Flat Earth Tidbits where I included the circumference of the Earth and we figured out that the circumference of the flat Earth comes out to 21,600 nautical miles which when converted to English miles comes out to the ever so touted 25,000 um, miles of the circumference of the globe. So I started thinking to myself, I wonder if we could figure out the speed of the sun using the flat earth map. Now I know what you're thinking. Yes, I'm going to pull out the Gleason map one more time. So let's get started. So we've all heard it over and over again that the earth is spinning at the equator at a thousand miles per hour or more precisely according to NASA a thousand thirty six miles per hour when we look at the Gleason map we can realize as we stated before it's a clock and I think that's the reason why we have 12 hour clocks is because we have during the equinox when we have the uh, same amount of daylight as we do a non-daylight so the sun is out for 12 hours and then gone for 12 hours well let's think about that for a moment if the sun is rotating over the earth and everything's calculated in degrees we can easily assume that it's a 360 degree circle. So if it's 12 hours, that would be half of that circle. In other words, that would be 180 degrees. So let's look at it. We know that according to the Gleason map, 60 nautical miles equals one degree. So in other words, if you travel one degree longitude, you've traveled 60 nautical miles. You travel two degrees, you travel 120 nautical miles. So, and we know that um, one nautical mile equals 1.15078 English miles. So we'll put that there on the bottom left hand corner for future reference. So if we divide the Gleason map into uh, two halves, so we have 180 degrees, and we're using the 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. mark because that's where they have morning on the Gleason map as the sun rising from there. And then at noon would be the, on the right-hand side would be GMT or UTC now. So we know the sun travels from east to west. So it would rise on the, uh, at 6 a.m. and then fall or disappear at 6 p.m. during the equinox. So we have 12 hours of sun and 12 hours with no sun. So 180 degrees it would be equivalent to 12 hours. Okay so we know now we have distance and time to calculate the speed. So 180 degrees multiplied by 60 nautical miles comes out to 10,800 nautical miles. So from the moment the sun rose to the moment it set, it traveled 10,800 nautical miles and it took 12 hours to do it. So what that means is that 10,800 nautical miles multiplied by the conversion to English miles, which is 1.15078 miles, equals 12,428.424 miles, English miles. So then 12,428 English miles divided by 12 hours comes out to 1,035.702 miles per hour. So the sun traveling in relation to the earth the speed of the sun above the flat earth is 1,036 miles per hour. You see, they lie to us. 
but they lie in a very deceitful way if that can be put together that way they they turn everything upside down if they tell you that the earth is spinning then it's standing still if they tell you that the earth or the sun is standing still then it is spinning everything is an idiom it's flipped upside down if they tell us that it, we have nothing but infinite space then chances are it's nothing but infinite matter these people are absolute liars so anyway I know some people are trying to figure out the speed of the Sun but heck we don't need to figure it out it's right in front of us in fact it's hidden in plain sight <laughs>